New at 6, the Milwaukee Health Department monitoring a few people who arrived in Milwaukee from West Africa looking for any signs of Ebola. They haven't found any Ebola, but they're certainly not taking any chances. Michelle Fiore is here to explain what the health department is doing. Michelle? Courtney and Mike, anyone arriving from Liberia, Sierra Leone, or Guinea gets an initial screening at the airport. Now, if they're healthy, they can leave, but they must report where they're going. At least a handful of times in the last month, someone said Milwaukee. Right now, Milwaukee's monitoring a few people who came here this month from West Africa. So far, no one's showing symptoms. There's nobody in this area right now that poses any risk to anyone regarding Ebola. And if there was, we would let you know. The health departments instructed these people to take their temperature twice a day. And we uh, find out once a day by telephone if they've had a fever or if they've had any of these other symptoms that might be consistent with Ebola. Today, the CDC announced all passengers from Guinea, Liberia, and Sierra Leone must undergo 21 days of monitoring, even if they appear healthy. The officials there will screen them for symptoms and for a history of exposure and find out where they're going. Just three cases of Ebola in the U.S. so far, none in Wisconsin. But in Milwaukee, there's a sense of fear. Hopefully they can contain it where it's been, but uh, it's a scary disease. That concerns got random people calling the health department for answers. <coughs> health officials want you to know two things. It's not easy to catch Ebola, and they're staying on top of it. You can't catch it. Um, by just being in the same room with someone, by breathing the air that they're, that they're breathing, that's not how Ebola is spread. It's spread through direct contact with infected fluids like diarrhea and vomit. The symptoms of Ebola can initially look like the flu, a fever, fatigue, muscle aches. But even with one of those symptoms, keep in mind that unless you've been in West Africa around a very sick person with Ebola, there's no need to worry. Dr. Swain says, if anything, worry about the flu right now, not Ebola. Mike and Courtney. All right, thanks, Michelle.